Today on the channel, in honor of 39,000 subscribers here on YouTube, we're counting down my top 10 favorite WWE Mattel entrance grades figures of all time. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 10, a Thursday tradition here on the channel, as every Thursday we're counting down my usually a top five, but in today's video, a top 10 favorite of something, and today, in honor of 39,000 subscribers for this very YouTube channel, we're doing another version of the Top 10, and today's Top 10 countdown is the Mattel WWE Entrance Greats Top 10, a line that's a bit forgotten in this day and age in 2024 as I'm filming this, as it's probably been about four years, five years, what is time, as we always say, since the last release part of this line. And I do truly believe we might see this line rise again. It's already done it one time. I could see it coming again, maybe as a ringside collectible exclusive, maybe just like the defining moments of the past. And the defining moments in the entrance greats kind of ran side by side around the basics and the elite for a couple of years at least. And some great figures in this line. And like I said earlier at the top, a little bit forgotten after all these years is some of these entrance greats. Now, the entrance greats is very interesting as it did start off as basically deluxe basic figures. The articulation was basic style. Then later on when it came back, they were actual elite figures. So there is a difference between those two and most people do assume these are elite figures, but the original ones in the smaller packaging were basic figures. So that's something to take note of there, but a fun line, an interesting line, and a little bit of everything in this line. And we're gonna count down my top 10 favorites in this very video. And as usual, this is my list. Get your list together, put it in the comments down below. Make sure you put it in order. That's the hard part, but that is the fun part. And without further ado, let's kick it off. At number 10. All right, we kick it off at number 10. The number 10 entrance grade of all time was one of the newer releases. Like I said, this is a tale of two lines with the earlier releases in the small box, the later releases in a deluxe box, and of course, basics and elites. We got to remember that. We'll talk about that as we go through each one. But this one was one a lot of us had to have, and now all these years later, a lot of people are like probably roll their eyes at this one. As we did for a short while get bombarded with figures of this guy. Who are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the entrance greats. Bill Goldberg, of course. Old WCW stalwart champion Bill Goldberg. And if you remember the last time I dealt with this one on the channel, my dog knocked it off the table and cracked the packaging, so I had to get a new one. Uh, that's the way the old cookie crumbles from time to time. But old Goldberg looking good here with the WCW title belt, of course, does come with the music stand. And I guess I should have said that at the top, but we're going to test each one of these stands to see, does the music still play? Let's give it a little try for Goldberg. Uh-oh. Goldberg does not play at all. There's nothing. Unfortunately, Goldberg does not work. So his music, not going to be playing here for us. But it is the entrance great Goldberg. Just your standard elite Goldberg. But at the time, obviously a basic figure. Very basic like in the elite line. Very plain Jane. That's Goldberg. But it was a big one. It was a big hot seller at the time. That's Goldberg. And he comes in at number 10. After 10 comes number 9, and number 9 is one of my favorite current performers in the WWE of the last decade or so, but I do prefer this guy in this look over the normal look, of course. Who are we talking about? We're talking about the demon version of Finn Balor. You know me, I'm a sucker for face paint. I'm all in on this one here. Far from the most iconic demon figure we've re received from Mattel over the years. A little bit plain Jane, really, when you think about it as far as demon figures go. But still cool to get a demon anytime in our collection. And this is still a good figure for what it is. How bet a number nine figure. Does his music work? How about that? So it does play a short snippet of the music and then you can put in the thing and you can turn the knob on it and it'll play a longer version if you want to. But Finn Balor coming in extra hot at number nine. 
Feeling great at number eight, and the number eight selection comes to us from a Hall of Famer, one of the most important figures of 80s wrestling, one of the baddest of the bad guys of all time. Coming in at number eight for the entrance greats is a figure I'm shocked we haven't had as of this filming re-released in Soft Goods. I'm sure it's coming in an Ultimate Edition one day. It is the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, in Soft Goods suit. Of course, he does got the Million Dollar title belt around his waist, but it is Soft Goods suit on this one here. So a bit of a throwback. We don't get very many Soft Goods suits on a lot of figures. That isn't the thing usually, but I have to imagine eventually we'll get an Ultimate Edition of Ted DiBiase, and we will get this figure figure as that we'll just have to stay tuned now does his music work here that'll be an interesting one it's struggling it's on its way out unfortunately that's the bad thing about batteries and these things but it is on its way out here but a good figure it looks like Teddy DiBiase remember this is a basic style smaller style size packaging design on these but a beautiful beautiful figure especially for the time when this came out I want to say what year was this 2010 that's what I thought first year of Mattel this came out quite the game changer quite the eye catcher at retail no doubt there Teddy DiBiase in suit coming in at number eight Next up, we're at number seven, and if I eventually do a top five countdown of this character, I'd have to imagine this will probably be the number one selection. But at number seven for our entrance grades is the Elite, more a uh, modern take on, of course, Bobby Roode. Truly glorious right here, a very cool one to be displayed backwards in the package. Of course, his NXT run was amazing. I think that was really the zenith of his WWE time career. Obviously known better for his TNA run, I would say, for most part. But very, very cool with the backwards in the package. I thought that was beautiful attention to detail and a very, very cool thing here. Of course, there he is on the back there showing the front. Now, is his music going to work? And some may say his music was more over than he was, but we're going to try it out here. Should work. We haven't heard that in a heck of a long time. It kind of reminds you, it's like, geez, I forgot all about that song. But a very, very cool one here in old Bobby Roode coming in at number seven. Time for the number six selection in this top 10 countdown. And some may say the number six selection may break the walls down for us as we go back to the basics entrance great 2010 release. Chris Jericho, of course. We all remember Chris bursting onto the WWF scene back in the day. Still wrestling to this day, as we do know over in AEW. But a very iconic look, a very iconic, memorable time when he first did come to the WWF way back when. Definitely a cool figure and almost shocked we never got another one of these ones in a more elite type style here. I could see if Chris Jericho was still in, of course, the WWE, we'd have a lot of ultimate Jerichos, things like that. And I'm sure this one would have been redone in an elite. Probably a greatest hit, something like that. Now, is his music going to work? It's been 14 years. Will it work? It won't work. Oh, Jericho, we're not going to hear it. We're not going to break the walls down here today. But this Jericho, absolutely fabulous. Love this one here. Coming in at number six. We've reached the halfway point of the countdown. You got your list together. Put it in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as we got countdown videos every single Thursday and every thousand subscribers on the channel. We got a special top 10. So make sure you do subscribe this very YouTube channel. But now we're at the number five selection. And number five was a good one as this was one we were really wanting in Elite Farm. And this is our first kind of run at that one. In a special deluxe, of course, entrance great release. It is Elias. Why don't we take a walk with Elias here? Very cool to get the stool with him and the guitar, and of course, a great figure of Elias. Very underrated performer. He used to be the Drifter. Remember those days in NXT? Uh, but a cool performer. We'll see if he ever does return to the WWE in some time and some fashion. Maybe he could, maybe he won't. Will he go somewhere else? What's he going to do? We'll have to stay tuned for that. But always cool to walk with Elias, as we do know. Now, let's play the music, see if it works. It should. It should. It should not. It does not work, unfortunately. So that's, once again, the bad thing about these things. The batteries go out on them, and that's all she wrote, if you, unless you're going to unbox it, which I'm not going to. I do have a on card and a loose set of these, as you guys know as well, but these are always displayed perfectly in the package. A on card collector's dream is what this is in the packaging here. But Elias coming in extra hot at number five. We've arrived at the number four spot in the top 10 entrance greats countdown. And number four is another one of those elite ones. And it's one I could see getting ran back, maybe in an elite or ultimate, with some of the new bells and whistles that we get here in 2024. 
But what are we talking about? We're talking about that old wrestling machine himself with hair back in the day. It is Kurt Angle. Of course, we did just get a recent Ultimate Edition of Kurt Angle, uh, but a little different going on there. Of course, that had the soft goods as well, but this is always kind of the American Gladiator looking Kurt Angle is what I always thought of. Felt like he was on the show or going to be a contestant on the show. Who knows? But a classic Kurt Angle that really could use a redo, and I'm sure, like I said, it'll probably happen sometime in 2024 or 2025, as long as he's still signed to a contract. But one of the later entrance grades here, but a good one, one people were clamoring for, as we do know. And will his music work? Always the million-dollar question. There you go. So it does work here. So that's good to see. So you never know what you're going to get with some of these ones. It's truly a box of chocolates is what it is. But coming in at number four for me, the entrance grates, Kurt Angle. Down to the final three. Get your list in. Make sure you put them in order. That's the hard part. That is the fun part. And the number three figure has been released many times over the years. The first time as an exclusive back in the Jack's Ruthless Aggression days. Then he did get this one as a basic in the entrance grate. And then later on in 2023, we got an ultimate version of this one. But this one still stands out to me. A very fun one. A very cool one. A very eye-catching one. It is the entrance grate basic Rey Mysterio in his WrestleMania gear looking absolutely amazing. I love this figure. I love the new Ultimate and I love the Jax one as well. This is probably my favorite Rey Mysterio outfit. If I had to sit there and think about it, that could be a future top five. Top five Rey Mysterio outfits maybe. Who knows? But a very cool one. A classic one. Love that big headdress. That's what makes this one for me. Just a favorite of mine over the years and a favorite one in the entrance grade coming in at number three. But will his music work? Booyaka, booyaka, Rey Mysterio, the old 619, San Diego. See you soon, maybe, San Diego. We'll see, but this summer, maybe. Up in the air still. But a very good one here. Very, very cool. And I'm glad it works, but it's uh, starting to fizzle out, as you could hear right there. But Rey Mysterio coming in at number three. Dangerously close to the top spot in my top ten interest great figures of all time. Here we are at number two, which means there can only be one after this. That's the way these countdowns do work. But the number two selection here, I am honestly shocked we haven't got this as a ringside exclusive, an ultimate edition, uh, an elite somewhere along the way, and have to imagine it's coming. And my guess would probably be an ultimate edition eventually. And they could reuse some of the pieces from this. It is the Hunter Hearst Helmsley, old Triple H himself, Conan the Barbarian look, a classic Triple H WrestleMania entrance gear. Beautiful figure here. It is a basic. That holds it back a little bit. But boy, I think with the modern bells and whistles, they could really do this one up. And I would be here for it. I love Conan. I love Arnold. I do enjoy Triple H. Uh, I love figures. I think it would be playing a lot of hits for me. Very cool idea back in the entrance grate line. Even a cooler idea if they did this after all these years. But a very cool looking figure. Now, will his music play? Behold. Oh, the sweet vocals of Lemmy just shouting out through there. A little bit on its way out, but it still does work. But a fabulous Triple H figure, one that we desperately need. Yes, I'm saying desperately. In 2024, it is, of course, the entrance great. Triple H, which leaves only one left. Who's it going to be? Stay tuned. All right, we've hit the number one entrance great figure of all time as voted by me. Once again, this is my list. Put your list in the comments. Put them in order. That's the hard part. That is the fun part. And thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel to make this 39,000 subscriber video possible. We look ahead to 40,000 and we got a big one planned for 40,000. So make sure you do subscribe if you have not already. But without further ado, let's get down to it. Let's get down to the number one figure. And this one, I am absolutely shocked. There's a piece of this that we have not got since this figure and I have to think sometime in 2024 2025 we will get this figure maybe as an ultimate edition we'll have to see what happens there but what are we talking about we're taking it back to the basic entrance grades we're going to my boy my favorite old Rowdy Roddy Piper and what sets this apart is of course the bagpipes we have not got bagpipes have to imagine we'll get an ultimate in the future that comes with bagpipes but it looks really cool. It's very iconic for the hot rod, as we do know. Uh, classic hot rod here with a little shorter hair department here. Of course, we've got the soft goods kilt, the soft goods hot rod shirt. Very on brand for him. And then, of course, once again, it all goes back to those bagpipes. Oh, everybody loves the sound of a bagpipes, as we know. 
but I can't believe Mattel hasn't reused this. They obviously have the mold. Here it is right here. I'm shocked it hasn't been reused again. Like I said, I have to think in the future it will be out again, and I guess we'll just wait and see when that day does finally come. But a fun one here, one that needs updated, upgraded once again, but a very fun figure. Now, will he work? Will he work? I'll be. The sounds of the bagpipes still do work, so always cool to see them when they still work. As we saw here, not all of them still do, but that's it. That's the number one entrance crate of all time, as voted by me. Once again, ask her for your list. Put it in the comments down below, and of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Subscribe to the other YouTube channel, and of course, Patreon. Early access to all the videos from both YouTube channels. Bonus content giveaways, Q&As, you name it, all over on the old Patreon channel. And of course, don't forget about ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, and especially do not forget about Amazon for the soft cover, hard cover, Barnes & Noble, Chase variant exclusive of my new book, The Complete Guide to the Jax Classic Superstars Toy Line. About 700 pages by yours truly, a thick, thick book. Definitely worth the read, definitely worth the pickup. Who knows, I may be biased, but thanks to all that has picked this up. If you want a copy autographed, reach out to me. We can work something out. Of course, hit me up over at SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the top 10 entrance great figures of all time, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.